Well, it's 2024, first day, and we've already made another purchase. But this one we kind of needed. We got eggs running out everywhere. We got eggs in our refrigerator. We got eggs in my brother's refrigerator. And we've been kind of looking the last few days trying to find a refrigerator for the shop. And I tell you what, going to Lowe's or somewhere, it's just so doggone expensive. So we got on Facebook Marketplace today and we found us a deal. And we just went over a while ago and picked it up. And so now we've got to make some room here in the shop. Try to see where we're going to put everything at between it and the freezers. So we'll show you what we got in just a few minutes. Watch that there so I don't hit that beam with this thing. I'm going to try to slide this up a little bit. We'll put it. Oh, God. Uh. This thing's heavy. How close am I? Is that close enough? Yeah. You're going to fit right there? I think it will, yeah. don't you? Yeah, I think so. It's going to be close, but I think it'll fit. Now, this is crooked. i got to straighten this back up. All right. Well, let's see if we can get it unloaded. Uh oh. Alright, I'm gonna spin it around. If I can keep him falling off the trailer. I'm gonna drop it right here. I can move around a little bit. Uh oh, that knocked the top off of it. All right, here you go. Oh, I'm cover back on the top. I didn't knock it off. There it is. All right, I'm gonna grab that plug off back there. Push this. Oh, shoot. Mm. Is there another outlet down there? No, it's way down there, ain't it? Hmm. Well, let's see here. What I want to do, what I want to do. That ain't going to reach, and I don't want it right up on top of this other one. I wonder if that's gonna fit there or not. Everybody's cord is so funny. I may just have to do it that way. Just let it stay like that. Let's try and see what this like. That works fine. No. That's just the way it's glad to be. It don't look bad. Okay, well let's push it this way. I want to have more room on this because that's where the vents are. So we'll leave it like that. That looks right to me. Just better and plug it in. There it is. She's going to run and she's working. Take the, oh, that's some good tape right there. Hold on, I got it off. Oh yeah, she's running. There we go. We found it on Facebook this afternoon. We went and saw the guy. He actually was in the next town over, in the next county. And actually, kind of knew of the guy. So it worked out pretty good. You never know who you're going to meet on Facebook Marketplace. But it worked out pretty good. We're going to let it sit here overnight tonight and see how cool it gets. She's running right now. Like I say, it's just an old used refrigerator. It may have a dent or two in it and a scuff mark here and a dent there too. But like I say, just to store eggs in, I think it's going to be all right. For 250 bucks the cheapest thing we could find at lowe's was how much was that one at lowe's about six, six almost seven hundred dollars mm -hmm. and it was smaller than this one so tell you what duke energy gonna love us now we got three freezers and a refrigerator here plugged in so somebody come on buy some eggs <laughs> Well, time to feed up again. We're going to throw hay today, but 
I tell you what, my haystack's getting kind of thin. I was hoping our rye would do better than it did. It just hadn't come up really that good. And I don't think some of my neighbors have either, but I need to cut the cows back off of it, I guess, give it a chance to grow back up a little bit. But I was hoping that last stack of hay we bought would last us through till the next cutting. But it looks like we had to go see my neighbor get us another stack of hay because this in here starting to look kind of pitiful. Looks like I put the hay a little closer to the door instead of putting it on the other side of the shop. Yeah. Just didn't work out that way. I see you in there. You hit the wrong side. I'm gonna throw hay out there today. <laughs> See if it's still on. Can't you just hardly wait? Like a bunch of piranhas. Here, donkeys. Here, Elmo Jr. You can have some of that. I tell you what, he's getting to be more like Elmo every day. I've noticed the last few days I've been home through the holidays, you see one, you see the other. Elmo's laying there toward the pond this morning, and little Elmo was laying right there beside him. He's got a little meaner temperament than Elmo's got, though. I don't think he'd hurt you, but he'll blow at you. <laughs> Alec is going to get you, but... Elmo will get him. Well, I heard him once in the back hollering. I run better get there and feed them too. Elmo, can you put him on your mouth? You got a mouth full. It ain't gonna run out. If it does, I'll get some more. Hey, Well, came in, what day was it? Was it Saturday? What's Saturday morning? Uh-huh, Saturday, yeah. Being off, got my days mixed up. But came in Saturday, cleaned the coops out again, got all that squared away, got them some new feed, new bedding, put new bedding in there to the yes. roosting boxes. And there's one of them still pooping in the box. Well, as long as it ain't just one, that's better than what it was before. There's one right there. Yeah. So, but to be as cold as these girls are still laying pretty good. Uh, I'm surprised they're laying as many as they are. How many are we getting per day, you reckon, now? Mm -hmm. How many are we get today, anyway? Well, I don't know. I got to do the other ones down there, too. So yeah, something. we ain't got the other coop out there yet, but. There's like 14 here, I don't think. Don't you come out of here. You back in there. So. We get about between the 20 and the 30 eggs. A day, so that's not too bad because, like I say, as cold as it's got here in the last few days, they haven't 
slowed down on the laying yet. Watch it, you're gonna hit the fence. You got in ceiling. Come on, you baby. <laughs> hey, Elsie. <laughs> Lolly Elsie. Billy, you better watch it. Get my old hussy's gonna get you. Reading you out like y'all about to start with a DFT, like them up yonder. Yeah. Mm hmm. All right, here's all you're getting. One flake. <laughs> I like the big noise. Yeah, you think that little bull calf will get you? Them two right there. They'll sure try to. Well, they ain't never tried to get me, but they want to throw their head down and make all kinds of noise at you. Like they're going to get you, but they don't. <sighs> I think he does. He's got a mound of hay over there right on. So yeah, I'm gonna give all this to them. Yeah. Give Maggie some. Maggie, you want some hay? <laughs> all right, y'all got plenty to eat right there now. I so. that yeah, he's still got plenty of hay. Yeah. Ain't gonna hurt nothing. I'll give it some next time. Get over here. He's like, nope, I know that bucket's picking up more out food. <laughs> Meanie. Yeah, I know you're mean. You old billy goat. Can you make a noise? With? Maggie. <coughs> you smelling the microphone? <laughs> Time to feed a second coop. See me eggs to go. Well, you've already got the eggs at one time a day for this one, ain't you? No, I didn't get them up. You today. never get them? Mm -mm, I usually get them up because I have one that tries to pick. Yeah, there's one chicken on it. Which one it is? Tries to pick the eggs. So I put some oyster shells out for them. So yesterday they didn't pick them. So yeah. I don't know if they're the old rooster. They're missing something in their diet or what? I don't know. They get fed plenty. Yeah. I got to move the fence around that here. They've about eat everything up this green out here. I need to kind of move it out here to where the garden was. They can pick this ground pretty good for a little while till we get to start doing the garden next year. Well, this next year. year. It's already 2024 now, so. It won't be long to be doing the garden. It won't it's be long. We'll have to start fixing it up and getting it ready. Mm. I may have to turn them out somewhere else. That's what's good about these portable fences right here. You can move them around if you want to. I might just take and move it out this way a little bit. There's plenty of ground over here they can peck on too. It might be a good idea. How many eggs you got in there today? Let's see, one, that's four. Uh-oh, that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. There's 11. Well, they put out just as much as uh, yeah, these are doing good. As the ones that the big coop did. So that's not bad. I think somebody busted the egg though. I see it wet. Well, just check them already and get them in the house see if it's got any cracks in it. Might be for supper. That one's cracked, ain't it? No, it's just well, somebody's it's cracked. Shell on it. All right, it's you that's doing it. I don't know which, which I one is it. It's that one right there. Oh, we need to put that in the stew pot. Come ah. on, chicken. That's true, oh. I get them up early. Hey, there's an egg over yonder, ain't it? <laughs> Yep. Yeah, there's an egg over there. You got to go get. Get back. You're trying to eat that stuff where it's dry. Yeah. I give them oyster shells and all different stuff. Yep. Oh. Yeah, there's an egg back over there. Yeah, I don't know why they lay over here. I don't um, know. Must have couldn't have made it to the roosting box or the nesting couldn't. box. I don't know. No, no, no. Yeah, that's what? That's 14 then, ain't it? From back here, 15. Yeah, there might have been more of that if one didn't get busted. Yeah, so. Chicken back here is doing pretty uh, good. 
And she gonna be in the stew pot. She keeps breaking my eggs. That's all right, I like chicken. <laughs> well, back at the shop again tonight. We finally got all the Christmas decorations taken down. They've all been put back up where they're supposed to be. So Christmas is over, and I guess, what, next thing's what, Valentine's Day? Yep. That's coming up, and we've already had some people ask about earrings for Valentine's Day. So Kim has been on Etsy and different things and looking at different designs and files that we can get. So she found some files that she wanted to try, but uh, some of those files on Etsy, if you look at them, they're uh, for personal use only or to make gifts for friends and family, that kind of thing. You can't actually reproduce them and sell them. So we'll try to be careful about the files that we do buy that we can actually sometimes have to buy commercial license and sometimes they just let you go buy and uh, make as many as you need to sell. But anyway, she found a set that she liked, but that was only a personal use only file. So I think I can make it on the X-Tool Creator. I kind of got something started, uh, still trying to fix it where maybe it's gonna come out. So come around to the side, I'll kind of show you what I got on the computer. Okay, what she kind of wanted was three hearts together like that and I got to figure out how to make a hole in the top and join those three hearts together where they'll stay together and get them cut out but that's kind of what I've got started I'm gonna work on it a little bit longer see if I can get it figured out Got to do a little polishing on those, get that overspray or whatever it is off of it. Well, I think we're gonna be okay, don't you reckon? Yeah, you could just do one heart. Well, you could do one big heart or mm -hmm. everybody you want to do it. Yeah, but that's just stackable. That's yeah. just a stackable one. It's kind of like you were looking at earlier, so. Yeah. But, and you probably could put a little saying in there if you wanted to put love or yeah, you X, probably, X and O's. X oh, there's all kinds of stuff you can do with this thing, so. We're still trying to figure it out, but at least we can create a few things with it. So I'm going to save that file, so in case we want to make some more of them. And I don't know what color it exactly is. It's like a purplish. It's kind of like a purple, but hot. we got red coming so. in the mail, hopefully from Amazon, maybe by the middle of the week. Yeah. We'll make some out of the red, and they probably look a lot better. Yeah. Well, it got kind of late the other night when we were in the barn, so we finally just wrapped it up, went on in the house. So here it is. We're back in here again tonight, trying to finish up on a few things. Been trying to come up with some new ideas and new products to try to make. So show you what we've been working on today. We made a few more sets of earrings today. We got a lady who called and wanted a couple of our cross earrings that we've been working on. And so Kim's trying to get them finished up so we can get them, get them delivered tomorrow. We found some more files that we kind of wanted to work on. Uh, I found this right here. That is actually a cell phone holder. But you can actually monogram it to whatever you want. We can do any letter and alphabet. And you can actually, mm, shadow on it, but you can actually put your actual last name or whatever you want to engrave on it, which is pretty neat. So you can kind of see if you want to, uh, like I probably make one and carry to work with me so I can set up on my desk at work. But that's pretty neat. It holds your phone up so if somebody sends you a message or calls you something, you can just look over and see what screen says. So then we, uh, we started making some of these right here. I don't know how good you can see those. They got the different kitchen conversions. Like I said, I can't remember anything and when I need to mix something, if I ever do cook something. But we made them out of magnets. So on the back side, we just got a little magnet stuck on it and you can stick it right on your refrigerator or wherever you need to stick it. And it's gonna stay right there. And then of course I was experimenting and uh, I took our old Whirly Homestead logo and did a little cut out of it, put a little magnet on the back, made it a little kitchen refrigerator magnet too. But something else we did today, we, uh, of course, ran to Hobby Lobby, and they had these little cutting boards right here. And Kim saw this right here, one of the SVG files, and she wanted to get it. And it's a pretty neat little saying, especially with Valentine's Day coming up. It's like a little recipe, but it's not nothing that you're going to cook and eat. It's just how you're supposed to treat folks, I guess. 
But that's kind of neat, and she's going to end up topping it off with a uh, piece of jute twine, and I actually made some hearts, and I'll lay it up here. I actually made some little hearts we're going to take and put in the jute twine. Uh, with beads. With some beads and different things. She's got some ideas she wants to dress it up with, so that's going to be kind of neat, I think. What's the recipe for love? It's for Valentine's Day. Well, I reckon. <laughs> If you happen to see something that you like that we're trying to work on and may be interested in something like that, we're going to link Kim's Etsy shop down in the description below. You can go there and take a look at that. And we've got all our stuff that we've been working on listed on there. It's got pictures and descriptions and stuff. And if you're interested in something like that, just let us know. And we hope everybody had a, a good new year. We've had a pretty good start to our year so far. And we just hope it's going to get better from here. So I guess it's going to wrap it up for us. Again, we appreciate you joining us. Please like, share, subscribe, tell your friends and neighbors. And we'll sure look forward to seeing you on the next video.